Hi guys! If your Windows is experiencing crashes, random application launches or other unmanageable problems, as well as if your Windows cannot boot after turning on the computer, watch my video, and I hope that you will find something useful here and be able to solve your problem. Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11 have a built-in system recovery program. And if your system boots without problems, press the shift key on your keyboard, hold it and restart your computer. This is the first way to enter the system recovery program. Method number two. If, after turning on the computer, Windows freezes on its logo, press the reset button on the system unit to force restart the PC or hold the power button until the computer turns off. After a few seconds, turn the PC back on. When the Windows logo first appears, immediately press the reset button again, or force shut down the computer. On the laptop, Use the power button to force shutdown. Do this two or three times until a white font appears on the screen. This is loading the system recovery program. No problems were found during the automatic recovery and diagnostics of the system. And now you need to click advanced settings. The main menu of the program has opened. Press troubleshoot. In Windows 8, this may look different, but the content of the options will remain the same. Applying the reset this PC settings will be covered at the end of this video, and it will be the last way to fix PC problems if all the previous attempts do not help you. Here click, Advanced Options. If you click, Start up Repair, the computer will restart again and perform system diagnostics, but we already did that, go ahead and click, Start up Settings. This section provides the ability to boot the computer in different modes. Consider some of them and click Restart. A menu has opened where you can choose the Windows boot method that suits you. Select the option you need and press the corresponding number with the letter F for example. If you suspect that the cause of the crash in the system is some program that you recently installed, then select the setting, Enable Safe Mode. To do this, press the F4 key. My Windows 10 booted in safe mode, some services are disabled, and therefore a lot of things look different here. If you remember which program you installed before the system started having problems, open, settings, then applications, find this program, uninstall it, restart your computer and check the solution to your problem. If the problem is not resolved, download the system recovery program again. The next option, troubleshooting with command prompt. In order not to make this video too long, I will skip the introduction to the command prompt. This needs a separate video review. Next. Sometimes problems in Windows arise from the received updates from Microsoft, and to uninstall the latest updates, click Uninstall Updates, and follow the recommendations of the program. It is possible that after uninstalling these updates, your problems will be resolved. Next, you can get rid of problems if you restore the system according to the restore point created earlier on your computer. We click System Restore. The system warns that after restoration, all your documents and other data will not be affected, but some data and programs installed after creating the restore point will be deleted. Next, here you need to click on the restore point and click next. Next. The last warning of the program, I click yes and the recovery process has begun. After some waiting, the process completed successfully. Restart. The computer has rebooted and we see a message about the successful completion of the system restore. It is possible that you did not take care to create a system restore point in advance. Let's see the last two possibilities to solve the problem with your computer 
and I will enter the system restore program again. Here I select the last option, and click, System Image Recovery. After restarting the computer, we see a program message that there is no system image on my computer that would help me solve my problems. I have not previously created a system image using Windows, but I have system images that I created earlier using a program, a chronic true image. I use this program all the time, and for me it is much more convenient. If you are interested in learning about it, you can watch the video on my channel on how to use a chronic true image, the link is in the video description. And now we have reached the last opportunity to restore the computer, which I already spoke about at the beginning of this video. From the main menu, click, Troubleshot, then click, Reset this PC. Here we see two options, if you select keep my files, then as a result of the process, all personal data, passwords, photos, documents and other files will be saved on drive C. All programs, games and applications that you yourself installed will be removed, and if your computer was previously infected with a virus that your antivirus program could not detect, this virus will also be completely removed. The first option to reset the PC can help solve many problems with the operating system, but the second method is much more radical. If you select, remove everything, then as a result of the process, all old data on the C drive will be completely deleted, and you will receive a computer as if you bought it in a store. You will receive a new account and a new password, Windows will be activated automatically, and if the cause of the problems was in the operating system, as a result, there will be no problems on the C drive. In order not to make the video too long, I will not show here how to reset the PC. Both processes, keep my files and remove everything, you can see in my other video, a link is in the description. This concludes my video review, and if it was useful for you, please share my video with anyone. Thank you very much, good luck.